I'm on Rosecrans. Rosecrans. Rosecrans Radio. I'm Rosecrans Vic, joined by Trinity. Across from me. Dang, you put the government. The government <laughs> the name government. this time. Dang. And we got special guest, Mac P Dog. Yo, yo. My dog. Yo, What's the deal? Hey, I promise you I'll take a shot, so I'm going to take this shot. Hey, for sure. As we get started. He saved it for the video. So you feel me? Yeah, <laughs> come on. Nice camera action. Oh. <laughs> it's vibe. Anybody else, you man, welcome. My boy went to Toronto. You want he something? Yeah, 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 my boy. Shot. Shot. Oh, right here. My dog yeah. ish. Yeah. Give some to Irene if she needs some. <laughs> give, some give a little bit to Chunkla. I'm down. No! Nah, she, she <laughs> fucked up already, bro. Look, so we got, some look, car, we got, we got a special guest. Besides Mac P Dog, he brought in Chunkla, <laughs> his dog. I bought in my little Yorkie this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Live in the studio she right now. She's shy, though, but she's going to pop out in a little bit. Chunkla. I love that. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like we got race car tracks, you know, sandals, switches. Switches. <laughs> so, things of that nature. So. Shit was good, Mac. Shit, bro. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the city for a little bit for a yeah. tour. Yeah. You know, trying to catch up on a few things. You're performing this weekend? Uh, yeah, at the BT? BT Experience. Yeah. How far is that? Like, when you got that call, like, you're going to be on BT Experience. Like, yeah, I was like, cool, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still getting adjusted to, like, being a rapper? Because, like, it's funny, like, I know that you rap, but I don't think of you as, like, the rapper. Homie. I don't like, even think myself as that's what that's, what, that's what's funny about it. Like, that's funny. Yo, I feel like I'm just going with it. Yeah. The shit working, I'm going with it. Yeah. And I'm going to take off with it, so. That's yeah. usually how a lot of people blow up. Mm. They just do it. Yeah. And it just comes about. So, yeah, so talk about, like, how you even started rapping, how that came about. Uh, shit. I didn't start rapping probably, like, two years ago. When, probably, like, three years ago, fresh out of high school. Yeah. Um, I mean, my first song with Phoenix, we was all in the studio, like, not even the studio. We was in the, uh, the homie's crib, and he had yeah. a mic and a laptop, you know what I'm saying, just doing bullshit. Was that? And, uh, uh, that was Half and Half. Oh, okay. My yeah. first song ever, bro. Yeah. And real shit, like, I was in the cut. It was really just OGs and Phoenix doing their shit. Yeah. And I was in the cut, like, freestyling. I had my own little notepad going on. Yeah, the yeah. Cut. And then Phoenix was like, bro, just speak up. What you got on your shit? And I said what I said. He was fucking with it. We laid it up. And I did it in, like, two takes. Yeah. And we just dropped that shit. The shit ended up getting a mil in, like, three months. Yeah. That shit always, like, caught me by surprise that, like, that was your only song because, like, you had your flow down pat. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I yeah. feel like Phoenix followed your, like, flow. Like, you know what I mean? Like, as far as, like, rhythm patterns. And I was just like, the was, beat was hard as fuck. Like. It was on point. Everything. It's still one of my favorite songs to this day. Like, yo, appreciate that, bro. Did you always want to rap, or did this um, just like, pop up? Shit, I I fuck with music. Like, my, I had a cousin. He was in and out the studio all the time. He was in Long Beach, going in and out the studio, and I was always in the mix. But like, to be honest, I was never into like rapping and stuff like shit like that until like probably three years ago. I did that song. That's kind of what made me go out there like that. Yeah, that's all it was. So how did you meet like OGZ, Phoenix, and everybody from Troll? Um. I met Phoenix first. Uh, we went to school together. Okay. Once I got into, uh, we went to Marshall, Marshall oh, High okay. School. Uh, jumped in. I was a uh, freshman. I think he was a junior at the time. Okay. And the whole time, I had a cousin that was going to school too. He was a senior, and like I was just kicking with a bunch of older heads. I was yeah. using fucking people my age. And Phoenix was like part of the group. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas just after school matching up. You know what I'm saying? Getting they drink, smoking, doing whatever the fuck we doing. And he ended up telling me he started making music with OGs. OGs was going to Hollywood High at the time. Yeah. And I was like, that's cool. And I was like, shit, just invite me to whatever y'all niggas do. And we'll see how it goes. He brought me to the, uh, I think it was Hollywood Bowl. We used to go to Hollywood Bowl to meet up with like our Marshall cats and like high school cats, like Hollywood High. We'll meet up at uh, Hollywood Bowl, get fucked up, same thing. That's where I met OGs. And then shit, niggas just vibing. Once we linked up, it was just, we just vibing. It was real shit. Yeah. And so you said that you were recording at the crib. Was that OGZ's crib? Yeah. Back when it was like the spot. Like yeah, that's before. when we was all. That's when we was all staying at um that uh building right on top of the Hollywood and Bryan Station, yeah. right on top of the Equinox. You know what I'm talking Equinox, about? Right on top yeah, of the Shake Shack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was all staying there, bro. And then that's crazy. We used to just get <laughs> fucked up and record for fun. That's yeah. all it was in the beginning. Just yeah. get fucked up and record. Thank God for that place. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it spawned a lot of like dope shit for everybody. <laughs> it did a lot. Yeah. So um, you put out half and half. 
and then no music comes for like like another, a year like another year like, like a year <laughs> that's how I didn't even take this shit serious yeah. I was like bro like he, Phoenix and OG's always told me like bro just bro we finna take you with us like just yeah. keep dropping shit keep dropping shit and I was like nah this I'm not feeling it like that yeah. and then throughout the time that's when like Kato pulled up that's yeah. when Rob pulled up and it was just a different scene you know what I'm saying that's yeah. when the music was really serious yeah and then I was like fuck it like, I might as well just throw in my two cents you know what I'm saying yeah. and then that's where it all just started from I just Probably, like, two years ago, that's when I, like, really took shit serious. Yeah. And it was, like, I remember, what, like, when I first was, like, aware of Shoreline and first, like, met them and interviewed them, it was, like, it was funny to see that it was just, like, four rappers, but it was, like, a hundred people, like, in the group, like, the crew, right? Oh, yeah, it's more than just music, bro. It's yeah. Way so, more than just music. And I was just, like, yo, nobody else raps. Like, it's only four <laughs> people that rap. And I always, you know, I was, like, I was, like, if I was one of their little homies, like, I would rap. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, just because, like, you're... You get the opportunity. You know yeah, you get a, you get like you know people. You're you, you're popular like instantly, right? Like people just knowing like, oh, that's Mike P dog. Like you that's know. That's because I, mean? I used to do a bunch of bullshit. Really, I used to yeah. like be in Seven Eleven. I used to pull my drink on top of the counter, <laughs> have have the uh, the customer in the back, have like the the nigga that worked at Seven Eleven talking shit to me while I'm pulling up, <laughs> and it's just like people love seeing shit like yeah, that, yeah, just yeah. entertainment. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But like I always knew like I had something to do with this type of shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, just maneuver. I yeah. feel like, yeah, I feel like people, like, really wanted you to rap, like, fans included. No, yeah, most definitely. I would always definitely. see, like, yo, tell Josh you to, like, rap more, like, <laughs> and, like well, tell no him what's the next song. I'm, like, not, I'm not gonna sit here and say, like, since birth, I wanted to rap. Yeah. I was gonna be rap. Nah, it's just real, like, the fans pushed me to it, my homies pushed me to it, and I was like, bro, if y'all really think I could do this, and yeah. let me see what I got. Yeah. And then, shit going good, so I'm, yeah. like I said, I'm gonna take out with this it's shit. It's funny how everybody has, like, a different origin, like, feel like you had fans before you made music type shit yeah. like you had one song out and you had like hella more fans than like anybody like anybody around you feel me like especially like young people in LA yeah so yeah that's that, true um so the next song you dropped was after, after the year long hiatus of like just being around when did you like decide like okay I'm getting back in the studio like I'm gonna really rap I'm gonna take this serious I took it serious when I knew, like, the way I was making money, I, I knew I couldn't do this forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, and I can't, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I only like listening to people and tell me what to do. That's the only reason I really didn't like doing, like, working for somebody, getting a job. Yeah. So I feel like this is just the easiest way to do it. Yeah. And you have a, you have a platform built in. And support, like you said, like. You yeah. you went on the first tour, right? You went on the tour like the very 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 first tour too. You're performing your song. Yeah, I was just performing one song. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I literally just put up for the fuck of it, just to have yeah. fun with my people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they made me go on stage perform the songs. I right, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. No, I remember I was like, yo, I need to book Mac P Dog. Like we had a few shows. In the yeah, we did the uh the greenhouse was it? The greenhouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did greenhouse. That shit was cool. I was just like, I need to hear half and half live. Like I just <laughs> I need to hear it. Like you know what I mean? And then. We had another show. I'm just like, yeah, we need Mac P Dog for this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Because I really believed in that song, and I was just like, I know he's gonna, I know he's gonna like rap more, and it's gonna get like a lot bigger than it is now. So I like yeah. to be early on people. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So okay, so it was like about a year, and then you dropped the song, and then like, what are the, what are the people saying? Like, oh shit, this is worth the wait. After the wait, what are you talking about? Well, like after you dropped. Um, Half, half, and half and half, and then like a year later, like you, you finally feed the fans like some music. Like, oh yeah, I dropped another song right after. Um, I think after half and half, I did. What did I do after half and half? Oh, I did Money Walk. Yeah. Yeah, I did Money Walk. Uh, my nigga Bayline. No, no, Dirt Rich. And that's when I really started taking shit serious. I was like, bro, he invited me to the studio one day. The same thing. I came to his studio session. Like, yeah. Not trying to do anything. Don't type of music. Just trying to bring the vibes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And. He was like, bro, like, I feel like you'll get on, you'll be hard on this track. I was like, fuck it, just load it up, let's do it. And really, it was just such a shit, like, let's fuck around music, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We fucked around with it, came good. I had a, a videographer from Miami coming into the city. And I was like, bro, let's just do the music video to it, might as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how it goes from there. We did the song, dropped it, dropped the music video the next week, and the shit was good. Like, I felt like my fans were still there. They ain't left, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were still there, and they was... Hungrier than ever. They yeah. wanted that shit, bro. And they kept telling me, like, what's the next one? What's the next one? Yeah. What's the next one? That really would motivate me to keep going. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, 
it's good to have that anticipation surrounding like your name and like <clears throat> people like waiting on you to drop so yeah. you know that's better for you as an artist oh yeah and then um you obviously see um like everybody's life change right like you see shoreline's life change from the start like, you know what i mean you're just like damn like yeah, I need a piece of this. Like, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. In the beginning, it was just like, bro, we just fucking around with it. Yeah, shit started going good, but it's not on some shit with like, oh, my homie's doing good, so let me just try this shit. Out. Nah, it's on some shit with like, people were really fucking with me way before this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then my homies is like, they've been trying to push me way before this shit. Oh, okay. So it's like, it's really just me. Like I lagging on it. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Like, and now that I'm really pushing it out there, and I'm like really trying. Like, I, I see, like, real shit. Like, I see all the fans really getting into my shit. I see DMs, like, I believe in my DMs with fans just telling me, keep going, like, keep doing this shit. Yeah. Your shit fire. I like seeing shit like that. Yeah. That shit really hyped me up to keep going. Yeah. Are there any plans for, like, a project soon or anything? Yes, sir. I got a project working on the works right now. Okay. Probably dropping in, like, two months. I don't know the name of it. Yeah. But I'm finna find out soon. I was supposed to drop it on my mom's birthday, but I just been busy, you know what yeah. I'm saying? My mom's birthday next month, so next I, month? I couldn't make okay. it happen. Yeah. So, um, a lot of the music you released, like you said, it's like kind of like party music, like fuck around music. Mm. It's kind of Shoreline's brand. Are you planning to make any different type of music? Like, yeah, I want to make like some like smooth player shit, like some old school whiz, old school okay. currency shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to fuck around with some old school beats like that. Yeah, but I'm gonna still keep it LA, still keep it functioning. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Is that how you're influenced by a lot, like whiz? Currency, yeah, for like sure. Donald, I'm influenced like by whiz. Like, all through high school, I was listening to whiz. But I was also listening to, like, old school L.A. shit, like, just Dre, you know what I'm saying? I was listening to old school New York shit, too, like Dipset. Okay. So it was just a mix and match, of like, from the East Coast, West Coast. Yeah. I was just trying to mix it up. Is there anybody that you would, like, have, like, a, like, I guess you could say, like, a dream collaboration? A dream collaboration? Yeah. Like working with somebody? <sighs> fuck, I don't, I don't ever be thinking shit like that. I'll just fuck <laughs> whoever fucks with me. And it's still like that. Like, yeah. whenever I do features and shit, I don't be coming out. It's really like people, whoever wants to make features, they fuck with me, we gonna do it. Yeah. I ain't never gonna come out. Like, I'm not finna be on somebody's dick like that. Nah, you fuck with me, I fuck with you. Let's wrap it up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, um, is that, so you said that you wanna make some, like, player shit, like, is there anything, any other type of music like you're looking to, like, have on your album? Or is it mm. kinda like, you have, like, a vision of, like, what you want it to sound like? Um, I mean, pretty much, yeah, just like some player shit like that. But I do want to fuck around with auto tune. Okay. I ain't even gonna lie with you. I kind of want to get a little some, you know what I'm saying? Some yeah. singing shit for the women. Yeah. And get their little buzz yeah. going from there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, live studio sorry, audience. I'm sorry. I meant to say for my woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some she go to sleep with. <laughs> nah, but yeah, like I do want to fuck with auto tune. Like, yeah. I'm trying to really get into shit like that. Yeah, no, I always, I always tell like new artists like experiment, try everything. Exactly, that's Honestly. exactly what I'm trying to do. Like that, I don't know if you heard of Up Next. Up Next. Um, um is this song I did with Auto Tune, bro? Okay. But like, to be honest with you, like all the homies were like, bro, like I don't think you should sing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's like, bro, like I'm gonna just throw it out there so people know that I'm gonna come up with anything. Like, yeah. it ain't just based well, on. Well, yeah, one like shit. the first song isn't always gonna be the best song. Exactly. Like, you're still learning how to tune your voice with exactly. auto tune, how exactly. to use it. And I'm it. still learning that tune. Of course. Saying? So, but I always recommend like shit experiment because there's a lot of people that never knew they could sing until they sang. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? There's a lot, a lot of people that didn't know like their voice sounded this way with auto tune or Real shit. pitch That's down. It. There's like so many things you can do with with music and you know, really use your voice as an instrument. Like, that's exactly. what sometimes people forget. Like, you know what I mean? It's not just... Like, it's not just, you know... Words, like... like it's like, good to show that versatility early on exactly. in your career. So it's hard for people to put you in a box once you already come with your own box. Yeah. You know, yeah, so... They gonna keep thinking you gonna keep coming with the same thing. Yeah. Same yeah. type of flow, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. nah, I'm finna come with anything, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so if you, like, display that early on in your career, I feel like it'll be easier to, like... You know, branch off and like do that other kind of music without people like, oh, I like this sound or I like this sound. Like, yeah. So. Yeah, I don't want nobody to think like, oh, that's Josh's sound, that's P Dog's sound. <laughs> nah, it's like I do any type of shit, bro. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It ain't even my sign. I fuck with all types of people and I might just take their shit and do it better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just what I'm doing. That's Thanks. a good mindset to have. So uh, you said you're going on tour next month. Um, I don't know when we start exactly, but mm -hmm. I'm going on the next. Uh, 
OTX tour. Yeah. The next, so it's not the one that it's, it's going the one. With, yeah, it's the one the that we doing boys? with Suicide Boys. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So good. I think um, we take out to Chicago for the lim- uh, lyrical lemonade shit. Oh yeah, yeah. We go to Hawaii and then we start the uh, tour with Suicide Boys. That's fine. Yeah. Are you excited for that? Oh yeah, that's like some <laughs> big shit, like Suicide Boys, like yo, su- bro, they fan base is yeah. crazy. I say what you want. Literally, I never, I never <laughs> heard they base. shit like that, bro, yeah. until we found out we was going on tour with them. I looked at their music on YouTube. I was like, bro, they fans are crazy. Cult following, <laughs> crazy, type shit. Yeah. yeah, crazy, bro. Like they hype. I fuck yeah. with their energy, and I, yeah. I can't wait to see that shit. It's an opportunity to make a lot of new fans mm-hmm. like, for you, especially. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, 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 exactly. That's how it was the last tour. They took me to. Um, it was just meeting new people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? New people fucking with my shit. That's fire. Yeah, that's a dope opportunity to expand that fan yeah. base, you know, with those good songs. Yeah. Do you have any um, people that have, like, tapped in on your music that you've been surprised? Like, like yo, this person listened to my shit? Like, um, yeah, I had a few people, like, probably more labels and, like, A&Rs and oh, shit okay, like that. Yeah. But, like, as an artist... I feel like not that much people pop out like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They like to keep they it to themselves. They be watching, though. They be yeah, watching they for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so many people taking L.A. sound, but they acting like they don't know what's popping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, shit, uh, if you had to think of, like, a perfect scenario of, like, you in five years. Mm. Shit. Shout out to the Henny. <laughs> Yo, we got an owl spell. Hard one right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, what'd you say again, bro? Um, if you had to, like, say, like, a, like, a, like, in a perfect life, like, five years, like, where would you be? Five years? Um, somewhere in the Caribbean, smoking hella good dope, minding my business, making sure my mom right. That's probably it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this money and get out this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't okay. trying to stay in this bitch. Yeah. Do you have any other plans for, like, anything besides music? Like... Uh, yeah, bro, like, I want to get into, like, any type of entertainment. I feel like, I don't know, I want to get into anything, like, acting, okay. all type of shit. Like, I'm not trying to do no little, like, buying videos, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, like, yeah. I want to get into, like, some real acting shit. Like, even if I'm in the cut just doing something, like, I just want to start off doing acting. Yeah. Music, acting, anything in entertainment, really. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Make it, maybe yeah. make some clothes, too. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. make my, uh, grow a little more of a fan base and then just make clothes from there. Hell yeah. All those things are open. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Being multifaceted is like, you know, a big thing right now. Not necessarily a big thing, but like it's cool to, you know, do more than one thing. Exactly. And when yeah. you have a platform, you can literally do whatever. Exactly. exactly. There's this, um, you know who B Simone? I know you know who B Simone is. Mm-hmm. She like sold like a million water bottles, like water bottles. just water, like off a video that was like. What you mean? She made her own water bottle. She made just a yeah. bottle, like a bottle of water that said like, what did it say? It was something like. De- detox or Maybe something like detox water. yeah Maybe like something detox, like yeah it was but, something stupid like oh yeah, yeah so for sure all the ladies bought that movie yes yeah. bro like, like so you lady. know and it's like it had little like funny ass sayings oh, on the she, bottle and she sold they, like a uh, mil like she she doesn't like sold water bottles like you probably made like fucking i don't know how much money like so much money though Crazy. yo she's smart though she sold water mm-hmm. like that what and, and it's, it's just like, like using it, your platform using to do your that. platform you it's can sell damn near anything like, you do it's it. not even just about selling things yeah. but like, you could teach people shit yeah. you know what i'm saying you could do so much much with it like i don't know i forgot what this rapper girl was but she did some like where she made all her fans meet up somewhere by the beach and she made them all pick up trash. Oh, yeah. Make um, the sound. Make the sound. You know what I'm talking about? Like, shit yeah, like yeah. that, bro. Like, Monica, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's so much you could do with it. Yeah. Like, it ain't even just so about positive. making money out of it. Yeah. It's just positive shit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like people doing that now is honestly shedding the light on the fact that, you know, you can make a difference and use yeah. your platform, which, it, you know, shows that, you know, doing other stuff yeah. I mean, can influence people yeah. as well. So You got the voice. Do something with yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. People are gonna hear you out, do something with it. Mm-hmm. The Mac P Dog Foundation comes soon. <laughs> hey, yeah. Any type of foundation. <laughs> a dog hotel. Hey, yo. And there's gonna have a and statue. Girl, it's and my have a girl's statue gonna be right by me, man. Right there. That shit, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah. You better stop. That's really gonna happen. Yeah, she for real want a dog hotel. She trying to get all these dogs from like the rescue. It would be on brand, like Mac P Dogs Dog Hotel. Like, yeah. come on, yeah. hey. P Dog Hotel. Come on. Because we're all about rescue. Yo, yo, that's right. 
Jack Shaw. Because they're out of the He just started something. <laughs> he might be on to something. <laughs> hey, yo, he just, he just <laughs> hiking with <laughs> my girl right now. Just... <laughs> hey, we gotta talk. We gotta talk after this. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. Per- I know he asked me for his percentage. I know this vacant building. Just this little lot down the street. This lot. I know some stray dogs. I know them. <laughs> yeah, no, that's dope though. I, 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 um, I think that's really dope that you're thinking past, you know, just like you said, like immediately rapping. It's like more of a platform thing where you can do a multitude of things. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, that's super dope. Well, definitely. My mama told me that shit. Hell yeah. That's fire. Oh, one, one more thing. Well, where, what part of LA did you grow up in? Uh, East Hollywood, Virgil oh, okay. Village. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, a little ugly ass corner. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, like around the. Everybody else kind of grew up in like East Hollywood, right? Like yeah, OGs yeah. And, and everybody thinking like Hollywood, Hollywood, like the stars and shit. Like, nah, it's it's different. Oh yeah, East Hollywood like is that. like yeah. Yeah. I, and I, people I mean, be thinking like that's like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like that's the ugliest spot in LA, but it ain't the cleanest either. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like if everybody, yeah. they make it seem like, like it's just. LA's you know what I'm saying? If you ever been a gold diggers or if you ever been a black. <laughs> Like, yes. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like you try to yeah, find parking. Gold diggers are black. Yeah. You try to find parking that bitch. Like, you're, yeah, you're Trying gonna to like, you're gonna, LA. you're gonna it's like hide all your shit. Like, you like, you yeah. somebody's <laughs> gonna, somebody's gonna come in here and take my shit. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Hollywood, trying. it's a lick spot. If you're not from Hollywood, yeah, it's a lick spot. You yeah. come around, you a tourist, you a lick. That's what it is. It ain't even nowhere to be around like that. It ain't, it's shit ugly. You got bums, drug heads, dope fiends, yeah. crackheads everywhere. It ain't. If I was even from LA, I wouldn't bring my kids over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not to Hollywood. I'll bring them anywhere else in LA, but not Hollywood. Yeah. Shit junky as fuck. And one time I went to Black, and there was like a guy like, when I parked like, like a block or two away, there was a guy like completely passed out like on his face. Like I wasn't sure if he was alive or dead or not, but yeah. I had somewhere to be. It's one of those so it was yeah. Yeah, mind your business. It was literally mind your business. Like. <laughs> I had somewhere to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but shit. Um, that's dope, bro. Pre- appreciate you coming through. As always, this is kind of overdue, but um, I feel like the right. It feels like the right time now. Like shit's really popping off now. Yeah, so. yeah. I feel like yeah. I appreciate y'all having me. Oh yeah. I feel like it's a perfect time because I'm taking this shit serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Hell yeah. I feel like back then I probably would have been on something like, nah, I don't want to do this shit. Yeah. Now yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm I'm over for anything, bro. If it's going, you know what I'm saying, this shit. Yeah. I'm real shit with this now. Hell yeah, for sure. Shit, sure, appreciate you, dog. Um, shit, sure, good luck on tour. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Anything else you want to uh, say before we get out of here to the people? Um, shit, sure, just pull it to the BT experience. Yeah. I'm performing on Saturday. Me, AZ Chike, Wante J. Gonna go crazy. Yes, yeah, probably it. Follow him at Mac P Dog. M A C P D A W G. Be on the lookout for the uh, Mac P Dog. Um, Tape on the way with no name. Yeah, no name yet. Foundation. Yeah, don't forget about the dog foundation. That's coming soon too. For all you people that can't take care of your dog, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna take them from y'all. DPS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate you.